Welcome to the Ameridroid Minilab slash electrical closet. Today we'll be looking at the new Odroid C2. Alright, on the C2 we see it has four USB 2.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, 2.5 millimeter DC plug jack, HDMI port. This is a 4K 60 frames per second HDMI port. Then here we have a couple of jumper pins. This allows this micro USB port to be used as either a an actual USB port, an OTG port, or as a power input. And then over here we have the UART port. On the back side we have pads for a power switch if you want to install one. A infrared receiver port. 40 pin header. And over here we have an I squared S 7 pin header. There's also a composite video pad right by that. Okay, now on the back side we have micro SD port and an eMMC module port. This model has two gigs of memory. One gig is on the back side and one gig is on the front side underneath the heatsink. And the system on a chip is also here under the heatsink. First, let me note that these are not the correct colored dots to differentiate the C2 operating systems. We haven't received our eMMCs and micro SDs from hard kernel yet so we re-imaged some existing modules. This is an eMMC 4.5 module, which is a previous generation. This is eMMC 5.0, and this is a micro SD ultra high speed module. Now, the difference is that this module is going to be faster because it is uh, eMMC 5.0 standard, and this is a 4.5, which is a, a slower standard. But We'll be doing some speed comparisons and we'll see how those pan out. All right, so normally an eMMC module is directly soldered to a board like this, which means it's not removable. If anything goes wrong with it, you're out of luck. Basically the whole board needs to be either fixed or tossed. Uh, Hard kernel came out with this module design here that allows EMMCs to be mounted on this daughter board and it has a clip here which mounts to that clip there so by clipping it on it can then be removed again connected to a micro SD adapter and re-imaged or backed up there's a lot of nice things you can do because this is removable you can also have multiple different operating system images on different modules and you can just swap them out at will. Now we can also look at the micro SD port. If you look here there's an outline of the way the micro SD should be inserted. You'll notice there's the keyhole right there on the micro SD. And if we look that's on that side so we have to flip it over and insert it. All right. So if you have the eMMC and the micro SD inserted, the module will boot off of the eMMC if there's a bootable operating system on there. This will then be used for storage or for access. A normal use for the C2 is to have it hooked up to a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor. So let's do that. This is a USB to 2.5 millimeter plug that's coming off of this desktop power supply. But it could come off of, you can get the power supply that plugs into the wall with this. You can use your two amp smartphone charger with this cable to power this. And there's a lot of other different options you've got. But we'll plug that in. Next we'll get the HDMI cable. Plug that in and our keyboard dongle. All right.
right, now we'll power up the C2. Okay, now we're up to Ubuntu Mate. We'll log in with the password Odroid. As you can see, it booted really quickly. Alright, by typing df-h we can see that uh, we have 7.1 gigabytes available on this 8 gigabyte module. 3.4 gigabytes are in use and 3.5 gigabytes are available. Now let's try booting it with an EM with a micro SD module. All right, here we go. Okay, with the micro SD card in, we can see. Also type in standard Odroid password. DF-H. Again, it shows us we have about seven gigabytes of actual space on the eight gigabyte module. 3.4 gigs in use and 3.6 gigs available. Now we'll look at Android. All right, we'll boot Android now. And there we are. The Odroid utility requests super user access. Because this is an Android open source project build of Android, it does not have the Google components to it because of privacy reasons. But that can be added with the Google Apps component, which we'll show in a different video but for now we'll just allow the Odroid utility super user access. And if you look, it is a very fast and smooth Android. All right, that's it for today.